Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. In this session, I am going to quickly discuss few most expected and most important multiple choice questions from science for uh, Karnataka TET and uh, also it will be useful for uh, all other teacher recruitment examinations as well. Okay, so quickly let us start uh, discussing these uh, multiple choice questions. First question is which celestial body is often referred to as the red planet? Of course, red planet is Mars. Okay, so this is the most expected question this time. And question number two is, the substance that forms an unclear image among the following is, see, uh, read the options carefully, glass, wood, polythene cover, PVC pipe. PVC pipe means polyvinyl chloride pipe it is basically a plastic pipe you can say okay so the substance that forms an unclear image among the following is which is the correct option you have to tell okay see glass you will get a clear image wood you will not get any image at all in pvc pipe also you will not get any image so for this question correct answer will be polythene cover because you will get uh, some sort of image but it will not be a clear image in that okay Next question number three. When the speed of a ball is halved, its kinetic energy. See, we know that uh, uh, the formula for kinetic energy is half mv square, right? So, applying that formula, you should assume there that the speed of that ball is becoming half. Then what will be the kinetic energy? So, the four options which are given are remains same, becomes half, becomes four times, becomes one by four times. So, the correct answer will be it will become 1 by 4 times because we know that uh, the kinetic energy formula is half mv square, right? So, here you have to make the value of speed to be equal to speed upon 2 because they are telling the speed is halved, right? So, in place of v, you will write v by 2. But we know that in kinetic energy, v is having square, right? It is half mv square. So, in place of V, you write V by 2 whole square. You will get V square upon 4, okay? So, once you get uh, V square upon 4, again you take 1 by 4 outside. So, if you take 1 by 4 outside and you write a bracket, you will get a half MV square inside that bracket. So, your kinetic energy will become 1 by 4 times half MV square. So, your initial kinetic energy was half mv square. Your final kinetic energy will become 1 by 4 half mv square. So, that's the reason why we told that the kinetic energy will become 1 by 4 times the initial kinetic energy. Okay, clear, right? Next question number 4. A non-inflammable substance is... So... Flammable substance means petrol, alcohol, LPG. So, it will burn. Okay, flammable means burn. A non-inflammable substance means here wax will be the correct answer. Because wax cannot be burnt. It will just get melted. If you try to burn it, it will just get melted. But it will not burn. Okay. Next question. The incorrect statement with regard to properties of matter among the following is. So, here they are given you four statements. You have to read each statement carefully and decide which statement is wrong. See what is the question? You have to tick the incorrect statement. And all the four statements are regarding the properties of matter. See first statement. Gases diffuse faster than solids. Yes, it is true. Next statement, solids have fixed shape. Yes, it is true. Next, third statement is fluids have fixed shape. No, it is wrong. So, fluids have fixed shape will be the correct answer for this question because we know that solids are having rigidly packed atoms. Solids have fixed shape, they have fixed volume and you cannot squash them. Liquids do not have a rigidity and no fixed shape is there but they can have a fixed volume if you put it in some vessel and they cannot be squashed as well whereas gas 
they are not having rigidity they don't have fixed shape and the gas does not have a fixed volume okay so here in the four uh, statements option number 3 fluids of fixed shape will be the wrong statement okay next question number 6 eka boron predicted by mendeleev and after its discovery it was named as so what was actually eka boron named it was named as gallium and it was predicted by mendeleev okay next question number 7 according to wittaker the organisms placed into the kingdom protista are so according to the scientist wittaker organisms were placed into the kingdom protista which are these organisms see the options eukaryotic and unicellular prokaryotic and unicellular eukaryotic and multicellular prokaryotic and multicellular so one thing which you should make clear is that uh, protista includes eukaryotic and unicellular organisms okay so i really hope that you all are watching this class uh, attentively because uh, all the multiple choice questions which i am discussing here are most expected questions okay next question number 8 the scientist who said if animals are making the air impure plants are making it pure so who is the scientist who gave this statement if animals are making the air impure plants are making it pure he is a stephen hales okay stephen hales is a uh, familiarly known for this statement that if animals are making the air impure plants are making it pure okay next question number 9 cell theory was formulated by cell theory was formulated by skleden and schwann okay skleden and schwann formulated cell theory next question number 10 this chemical is used to preserve biological specimens in wet conditions for a longer period in the laboratory so which is the chemical we use in laboratory to preserve the biological specimens it is formalin so you must be remembering in puc first year and second year in biology lab we used to see this type of bottles where in the biological specimens were stored in one liquid right so that liquid is a formalin okay next question number 11 the number of protons in an atom is called its of course the number of protons in an atom is called its atomic number okay next question number 12 which part of the plant is responsible for photosynthesis see the options roots leaves stem flowers of course the part of the plant which is responsible for photosynthesis is plants is leaves okay leaves because they have chlorophyll using that chlorophyll uh, they are uh, making food for that plant and uh, that process wherein the food is prepared for the plant in the presence of sunlight is known as photosynthesis okay now here i have a assignment question what is the function of the red blood cells in the human body see the options carry oxygen carry carbon dioxide fight infections produce insulin so friends i want you all to give the correct answer to this question in the comment section below i really hope that you all are preparing very well so i don't want to disturb you all at this uh, uh, last moment i want you all to prepare as much as possible by yourself revise all your notes and uh, uh, don't waste time till your examination now okay I really hope that you all are preparing well and you all will come out with flying colors in this exam. All the best to you all. Thank you. Bye.